Hi guys, how is everyone doing? Happy Monday to everyone. I hope you had a wonderful weekend, that everything was perfect for you all and that you're starting with the best energy and the best attitude this new week. How is everyone doing? Santiago, welcome to the class. How are you? So happy to see you here. Welcome. All right, guys. So I'm going to do my uh, formal introduction as I usually do because I have a very important announcement to make to you all. So first, let me off like, starting by uh, introducing myself and then we're going to talk, you know, the, the important stuff. All right. So hello, guys. Welcome back to my class. And for those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Manuela Sadovnik, but you can call me Miss Sadovnik or Teacher Manu, however you prefer, or Miss Manuela. Uh, I am your fine arts teacher here at Vico, and together we will be learning about art history while we do fun artistic activities together. That is right, guys. So before I go any further, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can all have fun while you learn here at Vico, not only with me, but also with the other amazing teachers that we have here where you can learn guitar, piano, Chinese, more fine arts, um, singing, STEM, storytelling, yoga, yeah, and so much more. I mean, there's a lot of things that you can get to do here, so don't miss out on it, all right? Hi, Milena. Hi, Mrs. Amanda, how are you? I, I saw the KK Slider and I couldn't avoid, like I had to say like, oh my God, I saw it and I was like, no, that is KK Slider, I love it. <laughs> All right, guys, so um, I wanted to tell you all that there is a special announcement to make. That's right, we have a special announcement, uh, which will be a huge change in our class and all of our classes actually here at Vico. And that is uh, that we have been developing uh, this app to provide you a better learning experience, something more practical, something more, you know, that, that you can get to engage more, not only with the teachers, but also with the other students and whatnot. And so Vico has launched an app, a mobile app, where you can find it in the App Store and in the Google Play Store, is it in the Play Store or Android Play Store? So you can find it either on iPhone, you know, iOS, or on Android, all right? And this is, uh, this is because we will start uh, uh, our streams by the um, Thursday, the 10th of June, Thursday. From the 10th of June, uh, you know, from, from that and, and on, we are going to be streaming only through the app. So I highly suggest you guys to go and download it. So I actually wanted to show you guys the app uh, very quickly. Allow me to show you real quickly. But basically there's a lot of things that you can do on the app. So you get to find that it has a lot of things. You can even see the classes that are going live at that moment. You have the upcoming lives that are going to be seen on, on the app. You can see that you have like all the amazing thumbnails. You can also find the social network part of our app where you get to see other teachers you know like posts and whatnot something that i like to do and i feel that is a very nice thing uh to you know like show in the app is your own artwork so you can send me in your artwork and i will happily post it on vico's app so everyone else gets to see how talented you are and all the amazing things that you're doing here at my class you know so yeah you can find i even post the the results of things that i've done here with you guys so you can also check that out and again you can check other teachers uh you know like talents what they do here you see uh mr she dancing here in ballet and he's amazing as you can see that and yeah i mean oh look uh dr mckay playing the piano here's actually he's actually playing a k-pop song here in this video so i highly suggest you guys to go and download it oh my phone case oh yeah i mean i'm an anime like I, I love anime i'm an anime girl you know like all about anime and this is uh my phone case is from uh sakura card capture and yeah it took me a, a while to get it to find it but i'm in love with it 
So yeah, guys, please go ahead and search. Um, allow me a moment. Search on the uh, Play Store or on the App Store, uh, Apple Store. You can find you can find it as Vico. Okay, that again, it's V double E V E E K O Vico and you can find us there which we will start from now on on thursday streaming only through that platform so don't miss it out go download it so we can still you know keep finding um keep seeing each other on the streams and and sharing and still learning a lot in arts okay so all right because it's the announcement like you know like i need to to tell it to you all to to all of you guys all right so let's keep moving, right? So in today's class, we'll be heading over to our present times, all right? Nowadays, we're coming back to nowadays. And that, with that, um, before we keep traveling in time, because uh, in, in our next class from Wednesday, we are going to travel again in time, way in time. Uh, we're going to have a special introduction to an artist that is very much alive. This is an artist that, you know, you could even actually consider that he's like young for the recognition and the fame that he has as an artist. And he has a very bright and beautiful artwork and that you probably have already even seen his art, I believe in like from a painting or even to even like this normal back to school notebooks. All right, you, you are gonna be like, Ooh, what, Ooh, like notebooks, his art in notebooks. Hi, buddy, welcome to the class, how are you kneeling? So we are going to be placing ourselves in Miami, right, Miami, Florida. And we're going to learn about the artist, you know, how, what, I'm about, what I'm about to do, right? Yeah, the drum rolling, cause we're getting to know Romero Brito. Oh my God, I love that picture because he's like, you know, like, uh, so I don't like, I don't care, all crazy, like, ah, he's, he's singing his song out and all that, and the what he's surrounded with, he's actually surrounded with his own art in that picture. So you get you get to have an idea of what we're going to be doing today. And talking about today's activity, we will be doing our own neo-pop cubist artwork inspired in Brito's art. And my t-shirt, I know that you're seeing my t-shirt right now, has a lot to do with today's activity because I will be doing, inspired in Romero Brito's artwork, I will be doing uh, my, you know, like um, I'm going to be copying, you could say, uh, Darth Vader made by Romero Brito. So yeah, that's right. I was I was like, I need to wear this t-shirt because to, today is the day I'm going to be, you know, drawing Darth Vader. So with Romero Brito's art, we can say that uh, it is somewhat pretty fresh and it's this like young type of art. Uh, he integrates mainly two specific movements in his artwork, you could say, and you would be able to see it in a video that I have prepared for you guys. Uh, so basically it's cubism and pop art and even a little bit of urban, like graffiti type of art. But for the main part, uh, it's cubism and pop art. So here you will have an idea about how even movements from, you know, from the past could merge later on in the future for you know, young artists to come, get inspired, and start to translate it into their own way of understanding art nowadays and making something out of it. So let's do, again, a recap of these two movements so we understand what's going on here and how they're getting mixed up together. So cubism is all about the decomposition of the normal figures, you know, uh, into this geometrical-like uh, type of forms where rectangles, triangles, squares, circles, they, all these geometric forms replace the organic form of the thing, the object, the landscape, the person, the animal, etc. Anything. Is this the composition of the organic or realistic form into more of a geometric decomposition, geometric way of looking at things? In the other hand, with pop art, 
we see this tendency of the bright colors, uh, the usage of these bright colors in their pure way without blending them in, no mixtures included. The colors are placed, you know, in their purest form and the usage of very bold lines and most importantly, the usage of popular themes, all right? That's where the pop comes from, popular, from what is popular in, in the times and usually in the social sphere or you know like entertainment sphere so celebrities famous cartoons you know like shows that you like to watch movies that have become very iconic famous motives in general all right so in the case of romero brito he's a brazilian artist born in 1963 and he is currently based in miami that's why i said that we're placing ourselves in miami Florida. He has his own studio there and he mixes this bold usage of the, of the geometric shapes, the bold lines, the pure colors, bright colors to represent again these popular motives such as celebrities uh, or very simple objects turned into this type of style like flowers, animals, like a cat, two dogs, um, you, you name it. I mean, there's a bunch of things you will see a lot of examples in a moment. But most importantly, since his art is synced with the pop art practices, here is when it comes like how the premises of another movement start to blend also and start to be used in another sphere. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, no, 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 I'm sorry. It's just that I thought that the, that my stream just went off. Oh, no, no, it's good. Okay, I'm so sorry. It's just that I am also watching it through my phone. So I thought for a second that it went off. Let's let's grab uh, from where I left. So again, uh, we're talking about the pop art practices and how they're translated into the sphere. So in this case, because pop art comes in, that is where you find that the traditional means of, or methods of making art are no longer the only ones that, you know, like... Uh, suppress the artist like oh I'm just going to make a sculpture a painting or things that are traditionally understood as art but it takes it a bit further and it mixes it with fashion with uh, publicity with design other spheres and other aspects in life that can mass produce this type of art all right so anything that can hold this production as a print to be massively uh, distributed so it can not only access people that can pay, pay for a painting that probably the painting would cost a lot of money to actually get an access to one of his pieces put in the in the cover of a notebook you know like coming back to school notebook type of thing so he would find like this you would even say this is like a business type of matter where you would be like where else can I put my art? Where else can I make a profit out of my art because people like it and because I also want to find new ways of making it accessible for other people to get it, you know, to have a piece of this art. So all of these other spheres come to play, you know, pay, um, fashion, the publicity part, even putting it like, uh, like mugs, for example, like in a mug of pencils, anything. So that is a thing in pop art that you usually, you usually see that it has this premise of mass production. And Romero Brito actually took advantage of that and plays it through that part, all right? So he, he was very, very uh, clever. So here's a video of Romero Brito, meet the most licensed artist in history uh, from the great big history we're going where we're going to learn a little bit about his life and we will have like a sneak peek into the massive production of his artwork and the different mediums you can find it on and then we're going to be getting hands-on on today's activity all right so let me show you let me show you this video this video is actually very very interesting i want us all to watch it i know that you will like it a lot these are the works of romero brito they're joyful simple and you may start to notice they're all over the place so you see all over the place look at that 
look at that those giant like palm palm trees on i believe that that must be like a hotel or something oh no that's actually in front of a tj maxx imagine that but who is romero brito look and at him become so sounds like bubbly that he is the most licensed artist in history Let's start with the basics. Romero Brito is an artist, more specifically, a contemporary artist who blends pop art with Cubist-like abstraction. And the subject matters that I do, it's very simple, very direct, you know, I'm very consistent with my colors. And then the lines, the stripes, little things that I put in my work that... It's... As you see there, he mixes a lot of mediums. It's not only paint. In this case, in today's activity, I'm not going to be using paint. I'm just going to be using markers. But here you see the example of him using paint, markers, and even glitter. You see the glitter being placed there to dry up and really have like this like relief layer of the glitter over there. Part of my vocabulary. He was born in Brazil to a big family and growing up was pretty tough. My mother had like 12 kids. I wanted to get out of the house because it was chaotic. And little did he know, a big family would become his ticket out. Since I was a kid, I always liked drawing, but I never knew that I would change my life. At age 25, he moved to Look Miami, all where those pop art was flourishing. Open. I was like, you know what? I love America. I love Miami particularly because it's such a dynamic city. With no formal art training, he would paint on newspapers and on the streets, the only canvases he could afford. Before I show my work in galleries, I show my work on the sidewalk in Miami. He was able to move into a small studio. Imagine that. Soon, getting his first brand deal. So there you get to see that he would even place things uh in in other objects here you see even a bottle i mean he would start making deals with other companies to find a way of making a profit out of his own paintings or his own artwork being placed in other mediums but and not even necessarily being from painted there, his career took off and it's still considered Disney, art coca-cola mattel samsung luggage lamps watches banana you see bananas are you kidding me if you can slap a print on it, odds are there's a Brito version of Look at that Monopoly. There's this, what is this? It's like a phone? What is this? Sand disc? A shoe, glasses, like a key holder, umbrella. The sculptures are. <gasps> there was even a tie. The train station. The car, yeah. Buses, hotels, corporate headquarters. The guy has done the Super Bowl, the World Cup, and the Olympics. So, yeah, Romero Brito is everywhere. How many pieces of art I've done? Oh my God, listen. You know, it's pretty hard to keep track of it. Hundreds? Like a few thousands. To oh my God, those going, long... He's hired dozens uh, of employees. Soft. And the scale of the operation is stacked. And here, what you just saw there, this is actually something pretty common. And the scale of the operation... Because then this will become as a surprise for a lot of people. They're going to be like, oh my God, but isn't just the artist making his own art all the time? Isn't this just like, just the artist? No. They do have a whole team. For the most part, a lot of artists have their own team. Once they become renowned, they need more hands to work on their art. They need more hands to actually massively produce these pieces and show them in galleries, show them in, you know, and you name it. And in his case, because he shows his art in many different mediums, then he needs a lot of people to be working on his art. But it still has his signature is staggering. Oh, a USB thumb drive. I was, drive. Drive. I was like, what is that? Because I saw like so as if it had a camera that, or something. Because so it means that my work is reaching out millions of people. I just don't want I my art to be enjoyed welcome. by the elite of the world, but I want my art to be enjoyed by the masses That's exactly well. what I was saying. But nevertheless, Romero's <laughs> art has copied... Oh my God, like, like he even came to the Pope and he gave him a, a Virgin Mary there. Attention of celebrities. Leonardo DiCaprio. We all know him, right? I hope so. All over... Look, Elton John. The world. Michael Jackson. There's so many people he has met. Too. All those pieces are here, are prototypes, and a trillion dollars. <laughs> I'm still people stuck in the ancient that times, if though. You're colorful <laughs> and you're fun, you know, serious. But I do think we all searching for happiness. And to help others see this happiness, Romero's company has donated to over 250 charities including the Holtz Children's Hospital in Miami. If we see all the time darkness, when is going to be the moment of brightness? Everything and that is a very work, beautiful thing, thing that to I do think also. It's very pleasing to my eyes and to my heart and make me feel good because life should be about fun. 
All right, so what do you think of him? Very nice, right? So again, you see that art is not limited to the traditional forms of it, like painting, like the sculptures, prints, drawings, you, you know, like the traditional way that we understand art. It has to go through different dynamics to really get to see, like to be called art. We will start getting into conversations of that sort, but you can see in his case, he is considered an artist and what he does is considered art, all right? So, allow me to show you today's activity. And so today we will be painting our, well, I say painting, but I'm just gonna be drawing uh, our own Romero Brito's artwork or inspired in his artwork. So the materials that you will need, you can basically use anything here right now in today's class. Today's gonna be very chill. You can use anything um, you have here, regular paper or mixed media sketchbook paper. I always suggest the mixed media sketchbook paper because it holds moisture best and you know, like dampness, water and all that. So it's always better. Uh, colored pencils, crayons, markers, soft pastels, oil pastels, acrylic paint or tempera paint, either or, it's fine. You can do today's activity with anything that you want. Paint brushes, if using the acrylics or tempera. For those of you who wanna go far, further and saw the video that he was actually painting and you wanna paint, then you need your paint brushes, the, the reusable piece of cloth and container to mix the paint if the, you're using the acrylics or tempera. The cup of water to clean the brushes, of course, if you're using the acrylics or tempera. And here you have one of the options that you can do. This is one of the source images that I'll be placing on our activity scene that you can get inspired from. Because I know, I know a couple of you guys would love to uh, draw some cats. So there you have the option, all right? LA cat from 1995. That's, that's actually the year that I was born. That Sensig is a brand brand for USB or hard drives. I think I had one, you know, I think I had one, but I'm not quite sure. So here, I'm gonna give you five minutes to go to the bathroom, stretch, uh, grab your materials, anything that you need for today's activity. And uh, also to remind you again, for anyone who's joining us now, don't forget that um, from the 10th of June, June the 10th, I always forget how I have to say dates on English, but in English, sorry. But the 10th of June, we will be uh, streaming on Vico's app where you can get it on Android or Apple Store, you know, like Google uh, Play Store or the Apple Store. You can get it from any of those. Just look it up as Vico and you will find it. You would even find it with the logo that you see right there. You will find it with that logo and again don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel because even though the streams are going to be passing on to the live uh, to the um, to the app you will still be able to access weekly to highlights of our classes and we will just be waiting for you to join us on the app but again i highly suggest you guys to go and download the app because there's a lot of fun things there since we're waiting uh we're on our break. I'll be showing you the app right now again. So here you have, uh, here you have the option. Like you get to see the main, the main. Um, you see, like the main um, page of the app where you have, where you get to see what what classes are live, the programs, schedules. You know master courses because those are things that you'll also be able to see uh, i actually want to see this other ones so here you get to see all of the courses that you can get access to so for instance you see here on the first part you see fine arts where mrs ashra and i are there you get to see the thumbnails of our classes then you get to see stem which is science um I forgot the T, what it means for it. math, engineering, you know? So you get technology, I think it's technology. So yeah, you get to see all of our classes as well. Uh, Mrs. Evans, language, you see it with La Kong. So you get to see Chinese with La Kong and singing, singing classes as well. You get to sing Disney songs because that is something that the teachers on singing classes are doing right now guitar with 
Mrs. Amanda and Mr. Kevin. Those are amazing too. Ballet with Mr. She. Piano with Dr. McKay. And it's not only an app where you can get to see the classes, but also an app where you can get to engage with the teachers directly. You get to see the things that they do. So here you see uh, Mrs. Amanda posting some videos of her doing some songs there on guitar. Very nice. I actually like the, the Japanese divider that she has behind her. It's amazing. Love that. And yeah, I mean, you get to engage with friends. You get to uh, engage with your teachers. So don't forget it. Um, from, from Thursday onwards, we will start streaming on Vico's app. So download it on the App Store or the Play Store from Android, all right? Don't miss out on it, guys. All right, and we're going to start today's activity for anyone who is joining us right now. Uh, we are learning about Romero Brito and we are doing some of like an inspired artwork based on his pop cubist style that he makes. So I'm gonna go to the activity scene and here you can see. So there you see the options of what I have for today of what you can do. So again, you don't have to do the Darth Vader that I'm going to do. That is the one that I wanna do. Yes, come hang out with us. There's Mrs. Amanda, say hi to her. So yeah, and um, I forgot. I was about to say something else. But yeah, okay. So yeah, you know, oh right. You don't have to do the Darth Vader. It can be challenging. I know he looks challenging. I'm actually gonna be like, oh my God, how am I even gonna draw this? But you can do the other ones. I even put something like very, very simple that you can approach, which is this flower that he did. Um, and you can even find the cat that I put the other source image of the cat. And so you see that everything is divided. Like the background is divided. The, the forms of uh, everything arranged in the picture are divided and that the colors are all pure. There's no mixtures of colors. There's just a mixture of patterns, you could say, but not of the colors per se. So I'm gonna start by uh, drawing, you know? I'm gonna start by sketching out my Darth Vader. So actually allow me to put my Darth Vader here uh, in a bigger size so I get to see him much better from this other screen that I have next to me. Okay. All right, he's gonna be hard to draw. I can see it, yeah. So if you wanna start doing, if you wanna go ahead and do the Darth Vader with me, well, respect. <laughs> I, hope we, I hope we do a good job here. So let's try and, and start with his face. So what I wanna do first is guide myself with like the overall form of his head which is like this so he has like this square jaw because of the helmet that he has you know like he has this so right now i'm just going to, going to be doing like the head overall and again because we're just sketching right now don't worry about any, you know, like mistakes or whatnot. I'm actually going to start by doing the, the sketch with pencil. Then I'm going to help myself with the, um, with my black Sharpie and do the whole, the whole lines, like, you know, like the definition of the lines with my black Sharpie, okay? All right, so he has like, okay, I'm not gonna move forward into here, but I rather want to do where his eyes start. So I see that his eyes, like he has like a big head, right? He has like somehow this big head and then his eyes start like over here almost, like in this part. I'm just going to make like a line here so I can know where that starts. And I am going to make his hat. So his hat also, um, it's actually quite funny because he has like this this helmet that goes like this way and has like this curve here and then this other curve here and goes back and down. So 
like this. Has like this nice helmet right there. And we have to start building, right? I'm actually gonna go a little bit here, not too open. I'm not gonna make those lines too open there. And now what I have to do is build up that like the helmet the form of the helmet in this part from this side it has like a small slight curve here and then it goes like this yeah and on this other side it's not too doesn't have those lines like very it actually doesn't even have it that that marked it's funny it has like this form here It doesn't have like that much of a form there. But again, you can draw anything that you want. You don't have to do exactly this. Um, you don't have to do the Darth Vader that I'm doing. You can do something else if you want. If not, you can do the Darth Vader with me. Okay. All right. And then... We have, I actually want to make this part of his face first. I'm having a problem with this part and is that my hand gets stuck here and I'm drawing that line so strange. And it's not being like straight like I want it to be. There you go. I wanted to make like a, a much straight line there. And he has this mouth here. He looks like angry. This is like a very uh, angry Darth Vader, you see here. So he's angry. And he has this part in the middle over here, which then opens up a little bit. It's like this part like that. And it has like this lines, right? You have you don't have to do it perfect also. Don't don't expect to be doing this perfect. So we're just, you know, like chilling, having a, a good time doing this. So his eyes, his eyes also are weird. So you can see that his right eye, well, this would be our right eye here. Is like in, in, in the mirror way. It's like even bigger than the other eye for some reason it goes like all the way out it goes all the way out here and I'm actually gonna make this one a, a tiny bit short like thinner and then it's just like the rearrange or like arrangement of the forms of everything that follows here like for instance, there is this block here and then you have like this bang coming from this eye and then you have like this curve coming out of here and then this other curve coming out of here, right? And then there's this other one as well. It almost looks like 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 whiskers, like whiskers, whiskers, whiskers. Like a black eye or something he has there. Okay, and his hat, his hat. So his hat starts from here almost. goes actually from like almost from his eye from the the start of his eye so let me let me go back here up because this one this one's actually gonna be like um, a very thick line over here yeah it looks like a cat he looks weird and then we have 
this other part here. Right now I'm just starting to build like the forms of what is there, like in general. Actually, I believe this is even thinner. Of what I see on the picture. And I'm gonna be erasing little by little. So I can't, like I don't get too confused with what I'm seeing. And if you have to erase, erase as much times as you have to, as you need to. Don't get too stressed out on it, okay? Don't don't stress too much. If it's not coming your way, if you don't like what you see, you know, like don't don't stress it out. Don't stress out. And he has like this little thing coming here, and this other one, like this. You know, like this square here and then he has this whole thing going on in this other side that is just like this forms this forms coming here again it doesn't have to be perfect hi stranger welcome to the class how are you And then he has this part like this, which is funny. Okay, and then we are doing some Romero Brito's art, if you wanna join us. And it's almost like this pop cubist type of artwork. So if you wanna do it, feel free. Also, I was announcing that we're going to be moving on to our app, Vico's app. So I also highly suggest you to go and download it. If you have uh, the Play Store from Android or uh, if you have uh, just like the App Store from iOS, from iPhone, that is fine. Both of them work just fine. So you can use either or. And yeah, we can meet there. You know, we can keep meeting each other there because by the by Thursday, we will be streaming full time on the app. All right. Okay. So now, what I see here is just this line going across this body. Actually, this line goes thinner, kind of like meets to this to the other line. So it will be like that and he has like this he has like a color here actually he has somewhat of a color here just gonna make that color right there almost as if he had a t-shirt you know and then this other line and the rest of this part has like some uh, marks and whatnot so other thing that I see here is that there's this other like lines up here. So I'm just going to cut them there because they even come like this, like this far over here. And also this would go, yeah, this would go all the way here. All right, I'm going to trust it. I'm going to trust that part there. Actually, then I would have to make this one also a bit higher all right but we're almost done there we are almost done this is just like coming here all right okay so i'm gonna start doing the lines now i'm very good thank you for asking thank you and i'm even going to fill in the parts that have the black with my sharpie Oh, this part actually is not too too the, over there. Again, you don't have to you don't have to be too perfect as, as I'm trying to be here. But just like chill with the lines there. Okay, now I have a lot of eraser here, as you can see close to me. Now I'm going to grab my sharpie and start doing the outlines. Where's my sharpie? Oh, there you see it. 
So I'm gonna start doing the lines of what I've just made now. You can even, look, you can even grab a ruler if you don't feel too sure of what you've made. You can always grab a ruler and help yourself with it, okay? You can help yourself in making the lines that you didn't feel quite sure on making. That you see that you can, you know, use your ruler with, okay? So, I'm even going to fill in the depth of my ruler here. As you see. Because there are some parts that, again, have this very, very bold line. So you want to mimic those bold lines that you see there, okay? Well, this is actually all black. So I'll be filling it in a moment. Um, yeah, Sharpie time right now. Yeah! So... Okay. I don't know about like making these lines. I feel more confident for some reason instead of the pencil. I always have an issue with pencils. <laughs> okay. And then we have this other side. I'm actually going to start doing. lines here like that okay this one goes black so no problem and again don't forget those bolt lines that you have to do right there for instance this one has like this form here coming up and it's quite bold you could say okay and then you have this part here And just, you know, follow along of what's rest from there, okay? And then you just make like this bump coming out of his head. It, it looks funny, you know, it looks like, it actually looks funny because it's like this bump here, this weird bump coming out. How like this, this thing coming out here. Who knows what that is, but yeah. And now his face. So his face, again, bold lines. Just keep focusing on doing those bold lines right there. And you can see that something that I do is that I don't move my wrist. So you see when I'm trying to follow my line, I don't move my wrist, I move my entire hand. This will help you to have a steady hand when you're drawing, when you want to have better pulse, even in drawing or painting and anything actually, it's gonna help you much better to find a better pose. Try to don't attach your hand to the to your book, to your canvas, and rather have it more like loosely like placed so you can move it around. And you just instead keep a steady wrist. So you're gonna have much more control of what you are painting or drawing or making lines for so you know you don't have that much of an issue so here we see that again the bolt lines you see that we see those bolt lines there we'll have to put them in the middle of this colors right here and then it goes here and up to here So I'm going to first do the lines, the how thick they are and, all, and whatnot, and then I'm going to start uh, filling up the image, okay? I'm going to start filling it up, okay? All right, this eye also is actually quite thick in this part. see there okay he has like that thickness over there I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker here and then he has this other part right here you 
comes a little bit bigger here too. All right, and oh, I forgot. I actually forgot these two pieces here. This one's much bigger from what I see here. Right? So like a bit bigger there. Okay, and that one's like filled in too. And then we're gonna be filling this other one too. You can see that I'm also even correcting my lines there. I know, I know that I'm correcting my lines. But you can do that too if you want to. So in this part, what we see here is that there is this line coming through at this part, right? You see that? It's like the ending of, of the helmet in this section, but then it has like almost another triangle coming in here. So you see that? And this one's also black. I'm just gonna do it because right now I feel a little bit confused visually confused if there's a part that you feel is a little bit confusing fill it in right like just just do it so you don't get confused later on if you go back to it and then you're like oh what what was that how how was I supposed to do that part okay all right and um, his mouth let's fill in his mouth actually This thing where he talks from, that is like, you know, like he's like breathing so deeply and, and strangely through that thing. It's so funny too. And then we have to start making this line thicker here. This side is actually quite thick here. Okay. And then this lines too. So you see that it starts to get form. It is like now you actually see more the it's Darth Vader form in the style of Romerito, right? And I'm just going to do this part there and then the rest of this other whisk whisker whisker that he has there and then this part already was like big enough there so we're just gonna you know there and do the other one up here okay all right okay okay we're getting there right Okay, here, this one, there's this other line here. There's a lot of lines that we have to fill in, all right? Just so bear with me before we start coloring. And then we have this other one. You see that? And I'm actually, I'm actually gonna fill this other two as well. This one actually goes all the way here, and it's actually a, a like a very um, bolt line that you see here. So just fill it in, fill in that line. There was even actually this line from up here. We're gonna be doing those lines from this side in a moment, but I want to do it with a, a ruler first. So we will focus on that one in a moment so we can have the entire piece with our lines the smell of the sharpie is also pretty strong now that i'm using like a lot of it right now okay oh his his neck the neck part remember this neck part that he has here also gotta do that one 
I know that it can be hard to have that pulse. If you need help, don't hesitate on asking for that help. And you know, like start, you, so you have like uh, a way of starting your piece with filling in the coloring part. But again, this is a good way to practice your pulse as well. Start doing those lines right there. And then I have this other one here. I believe on this first session, I will be able to do the lines only. The black and white part that you see here. I'm sure I just messed up here. Oh, but it doesn't even matter. And okay, now we're just missing this side. This lines over here. I want to do them with the pencil first because I didn't do it. But this one, oops, <laughs> this one is much better to do it with a pencil and a ruler because those are just like straight lines here. And again, it's just much easier for you to guide yourself with a ruler instead. And you don't have to do it exactly as a picture, just like follow the idea of what you see there and follow yourself with a ruler. As you can see, I'm, I'm not even. You know, it doesn't really need to be perfect. I'm just like doing my lines over here. Actually make, making them fall. And then it has this one here. So I'm just like, I just did like a little bit of a movement over there. And now I'm not gonna use the, the ruler. I don't need it to be that perfect. So what I'm just gonna do is follow myself, you know, follow the lines that I just did. Oh, that sketch of the lines that I did and you now just like keep going there because again I also want to practice my pulse right I also want to practice my pulse and you can find ways of grabbing your marker your pencil your paintbrush anything the way that will help you the most to start getting that pose that you need, okay? And the good thing is that this is a thick line, so you can take advantage of that to feel more, not feel too stressed about doing those lines right there. Because when a, lin when a, when a line has to be thin, that's when it, you, you can get like a little bit nervous. You're gonna be like, oh my God, I don't want it to be that thin. It's gonna be too much detail. But here, no. It's actually much easier to follow along. Okay? All right, so now we have like the bold lines made. I actually want to uh, erase a little bit where I have some of the lines. There are parts that I'm not going to erase because they are actually demarcating some sections that I need. Like in this case, this is like a white part and the rest is blue. So I'm gonna leave that one, exactly. But there are others that really just were helping me to make the sketch of my Darth Vader. So those are, I'm actually going to erase, all right? So I can have a better view of my Darth Vader right here. I don't see too much of this lines around because I actually it took me a little bit of time to do that sketch actually right there I really hope that one worked out for you and we're actually at two minutes so yeah I will most definitely I was about to throw this on the floor I will most definitely on my second session I hope to see you there I will finish the piece with the markers here what is left is just fill in the colors it's all about filling in the colors. So we're just going to be chilling right now, filling in those colors and, you know, just talking right there. Again, this is, this part is all about filling in, you know, the forms and whatnot. Filling in the dark parts, the dark side of the Jedi's. You know, like Darth Vader was on the dark side. So yeah, we're right, we are right now feeling up the dark side. <laughs> the dark parts in this case. Yeah, 
as you see right there, okay? And, oof, that one is a big one to fill in. I'm gonna fill in his eyes, actually. This part of his eye. This one's actually completely black right here. Okay. I'm actually, on my second session, I'll be filling this one with colors and then I will be doing the line, like the whole decoration with my Sharpie. You'll be there for the colors? Great! I hope to see you there. I'll be expecting you. And guys, before I go, because uh, it, it will be a minute over, our class will be over in a minute, don't forget to download Vico's app. Again, remember it's V double E K O Vico, as you see the name of our channel. You can download it from the Play Store or the App Store in iPhone. In any of those, Android or iPhone, you can still find the app. Remember that we will be moving to the app on Thursday. So, in my case, our class on Friday will be completely through the app. So I'll be expecting you there. Remember that we have like a social media there. So we will be able to talk there, to engage. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'll be able, through the live streams, I'll be able to share with you files and pictures and whatnot. So I can send you in first hand any material that we need to work on the class, you will be able to access it. Uh, first hand no links necessary so that's also a very nice thing that you will see all right so I'm just gonna finish filling in this side of his helmet and I'll say goodbye to you all okay so there we're almost done there okay all right so this is what I have done so far of his head. I actually didn't make him like, like with this big head that he shows there on the picture. He doesn't have like this much of a big head as uh, you see in the original one. But again, it's just like trying to do an inspired piece out of what he did. So guys, thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm actually gonna go to the chat scene right now So this is what we have done so far Remember that on the second session we will continue the piece and we'll be doing the second part where we will be coloring it all fully and Still talk a little bit of, a little bit more about you know pop art a cubist pop art How these things are mixed together nowadays in this contemporary ways of making art Romero Brito Darth Vader Star Wars if you want to talk about Star Wars and so uh, again, remember my classes are on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. My first session is, you know, of course, 5 p.m. Eastern time, and my second session at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Remember, on Thursday, from Thursday onwards, we'll be going to Vico's app, so don't forget to download it. Uh, I, I'm going to show it here so you can see, you can get to see the Vico app that is both available in, in the App Store on the or on the Play Store in Android. So no excuses, you can get it. And I'll hope to see you there on Friday. And for those of you who won't join me on the second session of today, I hope you get to color this very well and then and that you get to share me your experience. And on uh, Wednesday, we will be doing some mosaic art with the Byzantine Empire. All right, so I hope you will look forward to that. And so thank you so much for being here. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll be seeing you on the next one. Thank you, Milena. Thank you, Santiago. Santiago, thank you all for being here. I greatly appreciate it. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care, you all. Bye-bye.